Of course, Kasparov can also handle the knight and the knight geometry very well, like here in, a ga in the knight and game against Michael Adams from Linares 1999. But black to move could still make a draw. Un it is unbelievable, of course. But Zugzwang, such a sharp weapon. Knight endings are like pawn endings, according to Bodwinik's law. Uh, slight advantage is often sufficient to win, and outside pass pawn is important. And of course, Zugzwang is an important weapon of the attacker, and also mutual Zugzwang, of course, quite often like in pawnings. There are, of course, also differences like knight forks, knight attacks, and knight mates, and knight mares, but okay. Black to move and draw, and king h8, it's amazing, cannot be defeated. Because, um, yeah, if the king crosses over, or wants to cross over, then black can uh, deal with the pawns, and it's a draw. And after h7, there is no way to deliver mage, because it's, uh, yeah, Mushe Suzwang black to move would be losing, but white to move can't lose our tempo. Amazing. But over the board, probably Michael Adams had or already also given up hope in some way and gave up the B pawn as well. <laughs> and now he's winning. But White must act precisely, of course. He is a deep moment, as often in these, these knight fights. Where shall White King go to? King D4. The geometry is important so that the knight here would be in the carp of distance. Dominated in um, eastern direction, and the west and and the northeast uh, uh, or southeast moves leads to the knight check shadows. So forcing it away, and now comes the typical knight d1. And it's important. Black king cannot enter the square of the pawn. I like these geometrical rules. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the king cannot enter the square of the pawn. And the knight is in the corp of distance, cannot come back and <laughs> white wins. This was one of the reasons for king g4, and this geometry is often must, must be done right, and this is very important. And after knight b7, only now going to the knight check shadow, and then hunt in the knight. And again, you guessed it, deflecting the knight in similar fashion. So Adams try knight a6, but Karpo, Kasparov went to the carp of distance, typical domination distance, and then the knight comes to help, and so Adams resigned. He gives one sample line in his notes in the informant for his decision, and then comes now by now you guessed it, 93, this typical deflection occurs again, again and again. Knight check shadow. And the last move of Michael Adams' line and then from Anders. 95, the decisive deflection. Yeah, so well calculated by Kasparov and especially important was here King D4, only King D4, the geometry is very, very important. And then in all kind of variations, the deflection sacrifices came like here. And it's really amazing. Black's king cannot enter the square, and the knight is dominated by the king due to the domination distance, which might be called Karpov distance, and Kasparov's king reigns supreme. The pawn will queen, and the queen will win. And of course, Kasparov here is also very strong in these kind of endgames and decisions, because you can calculate deeply and accurately very far ahead, and probably he had already seen this with King D4, he has a winning position.